Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Be Jewel Book Reviews. My name is Tammy Shields and the book that I'm featuring today is called Box of Text. Now that book is written by Kim Smith and I don't see an illustrator so I'm assuming she was on double duty. Now this book is about a little girl who loves creating things with boxes. It's like my spirit animal because I absolutely love creating things with boxes. Alright guys, so let's check out this book. So it's about a little girl named Meg who is brilliant and creative. She's a box of tech. She loves building extraordinary things out of ordinary cardboard boxes and impressing her classmates with her creations. But then a new kid comes to maker school named Simone. Well, Simone is good at everything. Worst of all, she's a box of tech too. Huh. How could you, Simone? Will Meg and Simone find a way to push past their rivalry and join creative forces? Mmm, guys, I think it's some drama in this book. Let's find out what happens. So, Box of Text by Kim Smith. Let's take a look at the very first two pages. It says, Meg was a box of tech. She loved to make things out of boxes. So, let's take a look at Meg and her love for making things out of boxes. All right, let's go on. She loved making tiny houses and tall towers and twisty tunnels. She uh, made marvelous things no one had ever seen before. Let's take a look at that. Meg was proud of her work. She could make boxes into anything. Oh. A girl after my own heart. Meg's mother was so proud of her that she thought Meg was brilliant and creative. So Meg's mother sent Meg to maker school where she can be even more brilliant and even more creative. But at maker school, there were blanketeers and spaghetti texts and tin foilers and egg cartoners. There was almost any kind of maker that you can imagine. But Meg was the class very first box of tech and that made her feel very special. So let's take a look at that. So that made her feel very, very special because she was the very first one. At school, Meg learned all about box of texture. She learned how to make her structures useful and strong and beautiful. Meg learned everything about maker school. So Meg learned all types of new skills when she went to maker school, that prestigious school that is, until Simone showed up. Like Meg, Simone was new. She was also brilliant and creative. And worst of all, Simone was a box of tech too. Mm, mm, mm. And she was already making things Meg had never dreamed of. Ooh, girl, I see a little competition brewing. All right, let's take a look at more before I close down. In class, Simone would point out ways that Meg could make her constructions a little straighter, more wind-resistant, and less boring. <gasps> Simone. So Meg told Simone she should build things that were less bumpy, sturdier, and much prettier. How dare you, Simone? Let's take a look at that. All right, this will be the last page that I review. On the last day of school, the class's annual maker match was held to see who could make the most amazing thing. There was just one rule. You had to work as a team, but Meg didn't want to work with anyone and neither did Simone. The blanketeers built with blankets and pillows. The spaghetti text built with pasta and glue. The bakeologists built with cake and frosting, but the box of texts were not building at all. Well, 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 look at this, guys. Everyone is working together as a team, except for these two. Wow, I'm so shocked. There is so much to this book, and I'm probably having way too much fun reading it. I absolutely love this book, guys. You have to get it because I'm going to actually, after this video, have an accompany video with ideas for you 
for your children to create things with boxes. And if you haven't checked out my channel and you're not on my channel, make sure to do so because I've made plenty of box creations and I have DIY videos so you can actually see how you can make them either for props and events or events rather, or simply making props for your dramatic play or other areas inside of your classroom. So make sure to check out the accompanying video that goes along with this. Again, that book is called Box a Text and it is written by Kim Smith. Really cool book. I really recommend this for my preschoolers all the way up to my kindergarten and first graders. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget, as always, to hit like and subscribe and keep reading. I'll see you guys again on the next Bejewel Review.